Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. New video, passengers on board this American Airlines flight seen holding someone down, a flight attendant using a coffee pot to subdue them. Someone on board tweeted this person tried to open the plane's door. The flight heading from Los Angeles to Washington, D.C. had to stop in Kansas City. Russia could now invade Ukraine at any time. That's the urgent warning from a U.S. official. More countries now evacuating their personnel from embassies in Ukraine. After speaking with Ukraine's president, today President Biden said the U.S. would respond swiftly and decisively if Russia attacks. Additional U.S. troops members of the 82nd Airborne arrived today in Poland to support NATO allies in the region. Growing outrage in Mississippi, a white father and son arrested one week after allegedly chasing a black FedEx delivery driver and shooting at him while he was doing deliveries. I swear on him and I started hitting the gas to try to get out the neighborhood. And there's a guy in the middle of the road holding a gun to my window. Photos obtained by ABC News show at least five bullet holes piercing the truck and packages. One headline from tonight's Super Bowl halftime show, Eminem taking a knee. According to the Wall Street Journal, the NFL had no issues with it. They saw Eminem do it multiple times in rehearsals. Tonight, cyber criminals claim they stole some of 49ers' financial data. The ransomware gang Blackbyte recently posted some of the alleged documents on a dark website in a file marked 2020 invoices. Tonight, hikers lucky to be alive after getting lost on a Washoe County trail. Crews were able to find them just hours after they called for help. The hikers were wearing only tennis shoes, not prepared for the ice and snow. Gunfire on Frinza Avenue in North Sacramento this morning, leading to at least one person being detained. Good news is no one was hurt. Looking to get last minute Valentine's Day gifts? You better get an early start tomorrow. Flower shops around the country are concerned supply shortages could limit your last minute options. And America's in inflation issue going to cost you more this Valentine's Day. The National Retail Federation says consumers will spend an average of $175. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.